Rich and Phil, congratulations on Ralph Breaks the Internet. I thank absolutely you. loved it. Oh, thank oh, you. Thank um, you. A lot of commenters are saying, uh, when they're commenting on the film, they're saying you push every boundary you can in Ra Ralph Breaks the Internet. Was that your intention going in, and were you ever nervous? I, I, I think we're, we're boundary pushers, I think, <laughs> yeah. for, uh, for what we do. Our MO is to go too far and then be told to come back to the line, to cross the line, and then someone shoves us back on the, other, the right side of it. So don't ask for permission. Apologize. You're of that sort of, <laughs> yeah, do what you I'm want so and then apologize. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. Because it, this just comes second nature. I'm so sorry. Was I not meant <laughs> so to do that? Sorry. <laughs> Oh. Did, I, did you? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I, oh, I didn't know that. I, I'm, let did me you try. That? I no. did. Oh. Can I, can I please? No, I, see, I can't do it. I can't ask. So this brings me to the princess's scene. Mm. This is something that I'm really. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I absolutely loved it. Ah. Oh, good. Absolutely okay. loved it. Okay. Whose idea was that? How did you broach it to the studio bosses? And what were their initial reactions? Um, I, usually those ideas, it just kind of bubbles up in our story room. You know, we have these meetings with, uh, with us and our other writer, Pam Ribbon, uh, our story team, and we, it, it just kind of comes from kicking around ideas, trying to make each other laugh. Um, and that was definitely one that happened really early in developing the story, and every so often, uh, on every one of these films that I've worked on, there's always one or two things from the very beginning of the development that actually stick in the movie all the way through. And the princess scene was that um, we made a very, very uh, crude version of it uh, about a year and a half ago when, when we began actually production on the movie, um, a very rough black and white animatic of it. And we took it to our bosses and said, like, this is what we're thinking and we want to show you guys first, you know, before we keep going with it uh, to see what you guys think. And they loved it. And um, we, were, we were encouraged to go further even with it. So, I mean, it was kind of the best marching orders we could get. Yeah, given the reaction that people have had to this, like, as I said, I absolutely loved it. Do you think we Thank might you. see a spin-off? That's what people are saying. I mean... It's, we would not be the ones to uh, make that decision mm. of a princess spinoff, but I wouldn't, I mean, someone ought to do it. I'm as long as we get our cuts, <laughs> yeah. you know, that's all I'm saying. In this, Ralph and Vanellope have a cool job. I mean, their job is the to best. be part of a video game. Yeah. Right. The same can be said about you two. What is the real reality of working at Disney like? It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, there are... We, we are here representing this movie that we love and that we spent three years working on, but there are 500 people who worked on this movie mm -hmm. and going to work with crazy, talented artists, some of the best in the world, and really funny people and mostly really, really kind people. I mean, there's nothing like it. It is yeah. very rare air. I'm, I keep, like, being in Dublin and talking to you about the movie we made is one of the great privileges of my mm. life. And I'm not even kidding. Like, it just is, it's amazing. Are there any days, though, where you go, I love this job? That's a lot. We know that. But then are there any days where you just go, today I'm not so in love with this job? Oh, I mean, it's, it, it can be like any other job. You know, it, it takes a long time to, to make these films. Um, this one, we've been working on it for about three and a half years altogether. And... Somewhere about two-thirds of the way in, it can get to the point where you start to wonder, are we going to get there? You know, <laughs> is the boat going to hit land? You know, and, and is the captains of this boat, you know, are, are, we, are we sailing in the right direction? You know, so it can, it can get to the point where, you know, you start to question yourself. You, uh, you start to kind of feel... The, the grind of you know, trying to hone this thing the best it can be. But then all that goes away you know, a few months later when you start to see results that are incredible, you know, beyond what you could dream for. You guys are very, very close to this. I mean, you know every scene inside and out. So what is it like for you when you sit down and you watch the film in its entirety? Are you moved by it? Are you surprised mm -hmm. by it? There are times, I mean, we've probably seen the film hundreds of times, you know, so 
it is sometimes a challenge to sit there and look at it objectively. But for me, there are still moments, I, I laugh very rarely because I know the joke so well, but I still get real genuine emotion and even an occasional tear at the end um, when, when Ralph and Vanellope have this moment at the end of the film when their, when their uh, friendship has changed forever. And I think part of that is because John C. Riley and Sarah Silverman gave such a gut-wrenching performance together that, that really brings me to my knees thinking about it. And uh, so I do still get emotional. I do love all the messages in this film, and I think depending on where you are in life and what mm. you want to take from it, you, you'll hear the message come through. But one is friendship. Yeah. How's your friendship been affected after working on this? Well, you know, it's, um, we've gone to the point where, you know, I'd like to say, will you be my friend forever, brother? Oh, be will, you be, will you be my best friend forever? I sure will. You got it. You know, can, How do right. you seal that deal? You know, I, I wanted to give him a, a ring, but I forgot it. <laughs> you don't have the medal in your pocket. I didn't know that, I was just, that like, you were ask. just like him. He's always yeah, forgetting I'm, things. But, but you know, but anyway. he loves me anyway. What you know, a lovely I ain't way. perfect. I ain't perfect. All. Oh, that's what a friend is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What a lovely way to end this. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs> Thanks, <Serena. laughs>